hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, uh, today's topic is uh, uh, lambiliasis or lambiliosis and the other common names used are the uh, gardiasis lambia see these are the different names used for the same medical condition now gardiasis uh, is the most common name used and uh, it is an infection of the small intestine that is caused by the parasite uh, also known as uh, Giardia lambia you know uh, sorry lamblia and uh, sometimes also known as uh, uh, Giardia intestinalis so it is the most common cause of parasitic uh, gastrointestinal disease and it is estimated uh, around uh, 20 to 40 percent um, uh, in the world population you know suffer uh, of this uh, disease at some stage in life you know now Giardia lambia exists in two forms an active form and uh, uh, inactive form the active form is called uh, uh, trophozoite and the inactive is called cyst. Now the active uh, trophocyte attaches to the lining of the small intestine with this sucker and uh, it is responsible for causing the signs and the symptoms of the angiodiasis, uh, you know. Now the trophocyte cannot live uh, long outside of the body and uh, therefore it cannot spread the infection to the others. Uh, now the inactive cyst on the other hand can exist uh, for a prolonged period of time outside the body so it causes uh, it transmits from one person to other person through the feces and water water and other mediums you know now when it is ingested the stomach uh, uh, acid activates the cyst and the cyst develops into the disease causing um, uh, trophozoite and it takes ingestion uh, of only 10 cysts to cause an infection, you know. And the trophocytes are important not only because they cause the symptoms uh, after geodiasis, but also because they produce the cysts that uh, exit the body in the, in the feces and spread to the others, you know. And the cysts of the uh, guardia present in the feces of the infected persons, thus the infection is spread from the person to person by contamination of the food with the feces or the uh, by direct uh, uh, fecal oral uh, contamination or the cysts also survive in water, you know, for example in fresh water, lakes and streams, you know. So this way it spreads from one person to other person. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.